And this will be another DNU story. I'm finding I'm cranking up some DNU stories quite a bit lately. But it's not my fault, it's theirs. So in this picture, you see Seattle Seahawks rookie Kama Sivarand. And he will forever remain in a rookie position because he is no longer on the team. Now, what did he do to qualify as a DNU? Well, this guy decided that it was a good idea in the midst of a pandemic that is still occurring here in the States to decide for himself that he was going to break the rules and go above and beyond with what he did. This guy decided it was a good idea to sneak a woman into the team's hotel, you know, for a night of fun. And didn't think anyone would find out. Well, they did find out. And now he has been removed from the team. I'm like, dude, you are a rookie, which means this is your first year in the NFL. You just got drafted. And you throw it all away for a piece of ass. A little twat. That's your damn fault. Let me go ahead and read this article. The Seattle Seahawks way rookie cornerback Kamasa Rent earlier this week after he was caught on video trying to sneak a woman into the team's hotel. The NFL Network first reported the circumstances of Silverman's release, noting that the woman was wearing Seahawks gear in an attempt to disguise herself as a player. Coach Pete Carroll's number one rule is to always protect the team. On Wednesday, he praised the Seahawks veterans leaders for sending the right message to the locker room about the need to be disciplined while preparing for a season amid the pandemic. The Seahawks have placed only one player on the reserve uh, virus list carol confirmed on wednesday that it was the result of a false positive test with wide receiver john urshua who has since been reactivated silveran went undrafted out of oklahoma state and received a two thousand dollar signing bonus from seattle that was tied for the third smallest bonus among the seahawks 17 undrafted free rate free agents let me add in why he's even more dumb so he didn't even get drafted in the first round. He went undrafted and got this very small bonus, a very small bonus, one of the smallest bonuses you can get, and was lucky enough to get picked up by the Seahawks. By the skin of his teeth. And this is what he decides to do. Sir, you definitely shouldn't have been one of the main one one of the main ones that did not do this dumb shit. You only got a $2,000 signing bonus. You went undrafted. And then you, when you get picked up by the team, then you do this. I think the funniest thing is him trying to sneak the woman back into the hotel wearing a uh, the jersey as if they probably couldn't look at the cameras and was like, wait a minute, that doesn't look like one of our players. She, she looks kind of small. Or it happened with that basketball player. I never got a chance to talk to him, talk about it, but he would have ended up on the DNU as well. The one who decided he was going to sneak out and go to Magic City to go get some wings. I'm like, I mean, I guess if you really want, you know, if you really want to do that. I think it was another person that tried to sneak a woman into that bubble as well. But anyway, let me continue. Severance agent declined to comment on the matter when reached via text by ESPN. Some of y'all are going to learn yet that some of these women are going to get y'all in trouble. And the thing is, I can't even really fault the woman because it was his decision to bring her there. And she was just down along for the ride. At the end of the day, he had the power by saying, you know what, this isn't a good idea. I'll wait until the season is over or whatever. But you know what? This is probably just some person he maybe slid into the DM with or she slid into his. And, you know, when it comes to sexual urges, you can't help yourself. I mean, you can or you should be able to. And then on top of that, he's a rookie. So he's very young, very young. Which means he's probably in his early 20s. But that still, at the same time, doesn't excuse you for what you did. And like I said, the dumbest thing about it is you was undrafted, got a $2,000 signing bonus, a very small signing bonus, 
and was lucky to get picked up by the Seahawks to play in which you could have increased your bag even if you didn't play. But now you're not going to play and you got and you got waved off of the team before the season even really gets started. Like uh you can you cannot make this stuff up. Like you messed up before you really got started. So I don't I can't say I feel bad for him, but you know what? Now he's off the team so he can go and mess with as many women as he wants to now with you know no hesitation no precaution he can go out there and do what he wants i hope it was worth it because he, him messing with all those women is not going to get him back on that team he he ruined his his own dream career who knows where he could have went with this so good luck to all of his future endeavors and i hope it was worth it